Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how we can add a shared calendar to Microsoft Teams. So when you're in your team, in Microsoft Teams, wouldn't it be great if we could give access to a shared calendar? So in our Teams application, we want to have access to a shared calendar, but currently with Microsoft Teams, that function isn't available. What we can do though, is we can add in a shared calendar. I'm not talking about the calendar from the left-hand side on our rail. In there, we still are only able to see our own calendar. But what we can do is we could add in a shared calendar into a tab within a team. So we could go into one of our teams and then we can add in that shared calendar. Whether that shared calendar is, um, is within our organization wide, maybe it's a departmental calendar, maybe it's a calendar for our institution or our school, university, college, or, or maybe a smaller calendar that is just accessible to multiple people within our team. But we have the ability to publish a, a calendar and then we can publish it as a tab within our team. So let's have a look. Let's deep dive down and we can, we can have a look at how we can do it. So come on down to my laptop right here and let's take a look at how we can do just that. Right, so here I am within my Office 365. I'm online here through office.com. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a calendar here and then I'm gonna be able to publish my calendar and then add it into Microsoft Teams as a tab within one of my teams. So let, let's have a look then. So if I go into my Outlook and view my Outlook mail here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my calendar option down at the bottom here in the left hand side. Go into calendar, so as you can see, this is, this is um, my own personal calendar in here. Um, I've got my calendar. As you see, I'm a bit busy man here. Lots of appointments, lots of standouts, weekly meetings, lots going on. Um, who would have thought being in lockdown that we would be so busy? So, but what I want to do now is I want to, to be able to, to share my calendar. So down the left hand side here, I've got group calendars. But I've also got a shared calendar that, that I could select uh, and I could share that calendar. Obviously this shared calendar is attached to my account, so it means I'm the account holder of this calendar. What I'm going to do is show you how we could share, um, that will publish my shared calendar here, so it's so my other calendar. So all I've gone to is add a calendar and then create a new calendar. I'm now gonna go to my cog here, uh, up in the, the top right hand corner, click onto my cog. And then from here, go to view all of, all of my Outlook settings. From here on the left, calendar, and then shared calendars. What you notice is from the drop downs, I can share a calendar and that's how I'd normally share a calendar with someone. But down the bottom, I have publish a calendar. If I click on the drop down, then I've got my main calendar, my, my own personal calendar in Outlook here. But I've also got my shared calendar. So what I could do is then click on shared calendar and I could then share my calendar so i can say just busy tiles and locations but for this instance i want people to see all the details around my calendar so go to all details hit that publish button and there we go it's created a link for me i can then copy that link and then i'm able to to push this link now into my team i could certainly do that but my suggestion wouldn't be creating your calendar here and um, and sharing your own personal calendar because then you're in control of that calendar. It's your calendar, you're in control. What I'd recommend is the fact that we would create what's known as a shared mailbox and then have that shared mailbox used to be able to push out that shared calendar. The reason why I'd say a shared mailbox because then we're not using up any licenses that we have within our Office 365 tenant. But if you have got plentiful of licenses, maybe you're in education and you're not paying for your licenses, then maybe you'd set up an actual account and do it that way. So let's have a look at accessing that shared mailbox and then using that calendar to publish as our shared calendar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my initials in the top right hand corner here, and then I'm gonna go into open another mailbox. From here then, I could paste in my shared mailbox uh, address in here and then open that mailbox. This will then take me through to the calendar options of that shared mailbox. And here I am now in the, the calendar of the shared mailbox and I can see the appointments in here. This is now the calendar I want everyone to see within Microsoft Teams. This is the calendar, our shared calendar, that I want everyone to be able to view and they can keep up to date on the appointments and what is happening. So if I go to my cog, same again, view outlook settings, calendar from the left hand side is selected, 
shared calendars. And then we can see here, I can click in the drop down and then I can choose my calendar to publish. Again, sharing options, viewer details would be useful for my colleagues to be able to see, viewer details, and then hit that publish button. So as you can see now, I've got my, my share link here, I can click onto that, copy link, and then I'm able to now push that out into my team. And then everyone will be able to access that web link. So let's have a look now at how we do that. Click at the top, I'm going to go back to my tab, I'm going to go to my Teams tab here, open up Teams, it's going to load in. A little bit slow, but it's loading in. Here we go. We're in Teams now. I'm in my Teams, as you can see, member of quite a few teams in here. And let's go for let's go for volunteers channel. So uh, we've got a fair that's being organised here. Wouldn't it be great for this fair um, project to be able to have a calendar that we can all access and we can see when things are happening um, in this fair project? So my volunteers channel. I'm going to pop it in there. Actually, let's go to to the general channel. Let's do it in the general channel. Go to my general channel, and I'm going to add in a new tab new tab and i'm going to select my website option because i'm going to be copying in this web link and i'm going to call this org wide calendar paste in my web link there we go got the link pasted in you can choose whether i post this to the channel or not useful posting it to the channel so everyone can see but for this instance i'm not going to choose to post it to the channel hit save and here we go drum roll our calendar is now accessible in teams so I'm not in calendar on the left hand side from my calendar rail. I'm in my team, my um, Contoso team, general channel, and I've got my LinkedIn calendar here. I can select whether I see day view or week view. And if I scroll down, I can see I've got the daily standups here in my week view. Or if I want a big overview, I can go back to my month view and I can see it in here. And when I click into the days, it's very nice and shows me what's happening on that particular day because I've chose details when I click into it, I could see the details for that calendar invitation here. Everyone now within my team has access to view that calendar from that tab. And I'm now able to update the calendar. It's gonna push through those updates because it's a published calendar. It's gonna push through those updates and people are gonna be able to see those appointments, the changes in that calendar here. They're not gonna be able to add items to the calendar. I've not given them access to be able to create anything, amend or, or add things, but given them the ability to see that shared calendar. It's gonna bring in brilliant ways of being able to work with keeping up to date with appointments and schedules and such around that calendar aspect of our shared calendar. Obviously we could still go into Outlook and access the calendar in Outlook, but this just gives a whole new way of being able to view them within Teams, having Teams as that platform that we can go into and working and be able to access all the things we need to access during our working time. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to like the video, but please keep checking. There'll be more updates coming out very shortly. Thank you all.